Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Stuart here from Dougie Burst Tackle World, and um, today I'm all by myself. The weather was really good today, and Doug never turned up to work. I don't know where he is. He's missing. <laughs> no. Anyway, we're going to get on to it, and um, guys, hate, oh my God, it was so hard driving to work this morning, but I had customers ringing me, sending me photos, and the fish just bit their heads off. It was really good. First really good day this year type of thing. Um, tomorrow looks a little bit breezy, but Sunday looks like an absolute pearler as well. So if you've got a boat over four and a half meters, um, I would definitely be getting offshore. Um, plenty of dolphin fish around the fads, plenty of snapper around. Um, the deep dropping's been really good. The possibilities are endless. But we'll start off with the snapper stuff. Um, the snapper this week and pearlies, um, the 24s and the 36s have been fishing better with a lot of good fish still caught on the 18s. Um, the fish on the 18s, float line in pillies and um, plastics, smaller plastics, so quarter to half ounce heads, uh, have been really good. And then the fish a little bit wider, so the 24s and 36s and even the 50s, the Shimano, these are baku baku, but it's like a Lacana style jig. So it's an octo skirt type style. Um, they work really good. Kids jigging, it's easy as all you gotta do is move the rod tip. Um, that's why Dougie's actually pretty good at it. But um, really good, put the rod in the rod holder, just the action of the boat gets those working and they work really, really well. If you're out there nice and early, there's also been a lot of dolphin fish. So dolphin fish on all the fads on the 36s and the 50s. Uh, in the last couple of weeks, I've fished the 36 fad northeast and the 50s fad northeast and the size of the dolphin fish are very similar. If anything, the ones on the 50s might be about 100 mil bigger, not much bigger at all. Float line in half pillies on um, like a two hook gang rig or a single hook just through the nose of the pilly and throw him back towards the fad. So go up current of the fad and drift your pillies back to it. Has been working best, no sinker or cast in little stick baits, which is what I prefer to do. So there are um, little ones from Ocean Legacy that, what's that? That's a 105 and 123 mil. Anything around that type of size, guys, works really well, uh, along with just some bigger size metals. So something around 30 or 50 grams works quite well. If you're gonna do the stick bait thing, throw it out towards the fat again, let it sink down a little bit, and then just work it back. I just sweep the rod, and they're all over it. While you're at that depth, if you wanna go a little bit further, um, the deep dropping has been really good as well. So there's very minimal current, it's under two knots. It's around that 1.5 knots at the moment. And we've got plenty of deep drop rigs. So when we say deep drop, it's fishing for say pearlies in 120-ish meters and further. So um, pearlies and snapper around that 120 meters and then further from that, so around 200 meters, you're catching flame snapper, bar cod, and then obviously pass that's blue eye and things like that. But we've got handmade rigs, so we actually make these rigs up in the shop in our spare time, which we don't get much of, but we make it. And um, the rigs, the medium style rigs have got 10 -o circle hooks. Um, you can make it up, we've got all the gear here to make on the rainy days, but when it's good weather, don't make them, just buy them and use them. Um, so 130 pound liter on the small rigs, I think we run 300 on the bigger rigs. So 300 main, 300 dropper. Come in. Back in. Oh, I've actually just got someone yelling at me while we're going past, and it's UV leader as well. So anyone that hasn't done a lot of reading up on um, bottom fishing rigs at the moment, UV leader is the latest craze. It does make a difference. We fish them like a UV rig on one side of the boat and a standard rig on the other side of the boat. And with the little UV water activated light, which is a blue light, uh, clipped onto your top clip when you clip the rig on, it actually lights up the leader. So I think we talked about it last week as well. Uh, the Leader System Australia rigs come UV leader with the UV light in, in the bag with them. Um, these ones here, you just gotta buy the rig and the um, light works out around the same type of price, but it does definitely make a difference. So keep the UV ones for yourself, give the other ones to your mate and see who outfishes who. Okay, moving back in. Back in towards the seaway, guys, there's been heaps of bait. So much bait. Um, heaps of tuna, like mac tuna, a few little long tails in the seaway uh, last weekend and early in this week. A lot of dart, trevally, tailor, 
all busting up the bait on that incoming tide. The best things that have been working have been small metals. So the bait's really, really small. So you've got to match that hatch. Um, there's some little ones there, just the little armor ones. They work quite well. I like white, they do it in a blue as well. But um, the white just looks like there's a little white bait and a little fry around. And there has also been, for guys that want to spin, if you're land based, um, along the beach at the moment, there's been heaps of tailor. So the tailor kind of, it was like someone flicked a light switch on on about Wednesday, and they've been really good numbers um, anywhere from Mermaid to the top of South Stratty. That's just local reports, but um, there's been a lot of fish. I know Ross fished on South Stratty during the week, and um, he got four or five over 70 centimetres, so massive fish. And if you want to get into the tailor scene, you can either do it from the beach or while the swell's nice and small, go out in your boat and fish back towards the beach. And cast in metals like i just shown, generally I go a little bit bigger if I'm fishing um, the surf, just so I can get that better cast. That's a couple of little armor ones again, a little Samaki one. And um, we also just got these new Nomad Ridgebacks, which also look really good. Um, designed for that long casting, they come in 40 or 60 grams. We've got all the colors downstairs and um, they look like they're absolutely going to smack them. If you are in the boat and you want to cast back, um, you can cast like little poppers as well. So that's just to kill a little popper. It's a bit lighter, so it's hard if you're on the beach. But um, if you're in the boat casting back, you don't have to cast as far. So the little poppers work really good and sink in stick baits. So that's a little Jackson one. Uh, we love the Jackson stuff. It's really good Japanese quality, good finish. Uh, not that it has to look amazing for Taylor, but it does look good. And it'll definitely work. And you're, you're nearly guaranteed at the moment. Not 100% guaranteed, but very close to it. Coming in around the seaway a bit more, um, we've also got heaps and heaps of uh, bottom fishing. So uh, the snapper have been good, like little squire in the seaway. Um, heaps of brim and a bit of everything really. Flatties, just there's that much bait and life that everything's been feeding really hard. So the little vibes, I like to use vibes this time of year. The water's cooling down, all the fish go deeper. They're a little bit doughy. Um, the little Eco Gear ZX vibes, we just got another order of them in this week and more little Samaki vibes. So nice and natural colors, that water is cleaning up. So we've had westerlies most of this week. The water's cleaned up a lot. Um, and with the cleaner water, brings on the flatties and the squid. If, you're, uh, if you want to chase a few squid, I haven't heard of a lot yet, but um, it's one of those things, the guys that are catching them kind of keep it to themselves at the start before it goes too public. But just little two and a half size jigs. And just drift around those main channels, like out the front of Bayview, up around, um, say, Crab Island, on that last of the incoming tide stick towards the seaway or around a mouth of some description, maybe up the pin bar around the timber, could work all right as well. You just need clean water, so don't really go, I wouldn't go further than Sovereign, um, just because the water is a bit more discolored around that area. But that's the squid. Um, flatties, as I said, heaps on the flats at the moment. Um, I saw David Green got a really good one last week up in the lagoons up the pin. That was on a little ZX blade, actually, one of those little fellas there but I think it was 89 centimetres or 80-ish centimetres. It was a really good fish for this time of year. Um, plenty of school size fish, so around that, say, 40 to 55 centimetres as well. And they've been absolutely smashing the little prawn plastics. Like there's some little popular ones from Z-Man. Um, these things smack it. I'll just put a little bit of S-Factor over it. If you want to fish a bit more finesse and there's a lot of that small bait, the little Slim Swims have been catching a lot of fish as well. So that's a nice little uh, greasy prawn color. So anything that looks like that little bait buzzing around the shallows will get absolutely smashed. Um, if you want to fish on top of the flats on the higher tide, like around that, say, I think high tide on the weekends around about 10 or 11 o'clock. Um, so fishing glide baits and like shallow diving hard bodies work quite well as well. So there's a couple of little ones like that little, um, these are fish craft ones, very affordable. Um, if you want to get into it, give it a crack. That's a little, yeah, mullet style swim bait. So throw it right up over the yabby flats and the shallow weed flats. And that's just a little shallow running hard body. They're going to absolutely smack it. And we've still got plenty of crossfires, um, 
bent minnows, all Australian made, and they've been going really good as well on that first run, run in over the shallow Yabby Flats. On the crab in scene, I haven't heard of a great deal of sandies, but there's still been a lot of muddies around. Um, there has been a few sandies around that older shot type area, around Sovereign, um, but there's a lot of muddy still in that same area that haven't quite moved up the creek yet. If I was going to put my pots out, I'd probably be putting them mid in the, um, say, Cooma River or the Pimpama River. So not at the mouth, not at the back blocks yet, but in that mid section, as all the crabs have been moving back up um, while that water's cleaning up. And, sorry, uh, I've got someone else walking past. Um, mate, and it's been really good. And the prawns, while we're on the crustacean scene, um, the prawns have been really good as well, up around Lamb Island. If you want um, the hotspot, the local goss, give us a ring or pop in. We'll be more than happy to tell you the updated version of what we've heard. And the other option while the weekend is really good, take the kids out and catch some garfish. Um, Dougie put up a video the other week. I must say it was actually a pretty good video, very um, informative on how to catch garfish. We have a little burly rig made up. They've got like a little, um, I'll just grab one, just a little mesh bag that you put your burly pellets in, put a little bit of churn oil floated out the back. They're like little inside marlin with their little noses buzzing around. Um, just use a really small long shank hook with a little bit of peeled prawn, about the size of say your pinky nail finger. Um, and yeah, just float it around the, where cast to where the float is and you'll nearly get one straight away while they're on. And that's another last of the incoming tide, which isn't too early. It's probably, if you're on the water around eight o'clock, you'll get them straight away. Um, heading up around the pin, heaps of flatties up around Gold Bank and um, in the lagoons again. Some good wide in still up there, floating pillies, uh, not pillies, floating yabbies, floating pillies for the um, flatties and stuff like that. Just small sinkers drifting them over the flats. Um, small yabbies, just spinning them, no weight for the wide in. And keep an eye out for the tailor. There's been a lot of tailor up around that area as well. The freshwater scene. I haven't heard of a great deal. Um, as it gets cooler, the bass kind of do shut down a little bit. Dam fishing is still very good. Um, there has actually, there's a bass closure on at the moment, so you can't fish for bass in tidal waters, which is classified as any water upwards of a weir that the bass can access salt water. Um, so it's just strictly dam fishing for bass at the moment. I would be fishing deeper, if anything, so try to sound out schools on the edge of, edge of the trees and things like that. Um, throw a little, again, little vibes, the little ZX blades go really good, and um, just small plastics, and just kind of throw it, let it sink down, and just fish it slowly through the schools. But you should um, definitely be in for some bass if you're gonna chase that stuff. But while the weather's good, I'd say hit the salt. It's been a long time coming, but the weather is absolutely fantastic this weekend, and it's um, well, on Sunday. Saturday's a little bit blowy, but um, it's westerly wind, so it should be all right if you're just hanging around in broad water and stuff like that. Hopefully the, weather, the um, fishing report's been all right today, guys. I don't like doing it by myself, I miss my mate. And um, but anyway, if you've got any questions, feel free to pop in, um, see our wonderful staff, and I'll be here all weekend, unfortunately, but I will be here. Might pop out for a fish on Sunday morning just for a tailor spin before work. But um, yeah, pop in and say good day and grab a great deal. Stuart Grice, that's the um, fishing report for this weekend. Thank you very much.